Yo, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are doing good and obviously staying safe out there. I have a video today for you guys on two RTX 5090s. And before you guys start going crazy in the comment section, these were not sent out neither from Asus or Nvidia. These were, we had to do some things. Not like that, but yeah, we had to uh, acquire these cards on our own. So we got the 5090 Founders Edition, we got the ROG Astro OC Edition, and uh, two very, very capable cards with huge differences in price tags. One is 3,600 bucks. It, it used to be 2,500. Now it's 36 after that whole price hike thing. And then one is 2,000 bucks, okay? So if you've been looking at a 5090 card, and you just don't know, and if you happen to be thinking about the RG Astral or the Founders Edition, hopefully this video is going to help you guys out. I haven't seen a video comparing the Astral with the Founders Edition. Maybe there is one. I don't know. But hey, I'm making it for you until more creators make it. But yeah, these two cards are here. And uh, I'm going to be water cooling both these cards in the next week or two. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. And it's going to be going inside the Corsair 9000D. Got a project on that. Then I got the Crave Solutions, the Crow, which is a wall mounted PC. So again, make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see both those projects undertake. Uh, but yeah, these are both the cards. We're going to look at thermals. We're going to look at designs and we're going to look at benchmarks. And hopefully you'll, if you've been shopping for either of these cards, you'll have a clue or at least have a little idea which one you want to go with. So we'll start off with the 5090 Astro, guys. All right, this is the Astro OC Edition. Looks really nice. Very beefy, very heavy too. Uh, four fan design, three in the front, one in the back. I saw this at CES. And when I saw this at CES, I already had seen Gigabytes. I already seen MSI. I had already seen Zotac. And this one, pulled me towards it a lot, the Astro. Just always been the most premium and the most top of the echelon card, like the Strix, now the Astro. So, and it wasn't, I didn't even have that in my mind. I just saw this card and I was like, wow, this is probably one of the best looking cards. It feels good, feels very sturdy, doesn't feel cheap. You get this nice fin stack design right in the middle. Again, four fans. Now, what I really like about this is the ports because Asus has always hooked you up with two HDMI ports and three display ports. And for somebody like me, who needs the extra HDMI port, that's why I've always went after the Strix lineup. I went after now the Astro lineup because I actually use that extra HDMI port for my Raspberry Pi for system sensor readouts. So I think that for me works out perfect. Now somebody might be different. Maybe you're getting that for that same reason. Uh, maybe you're not, maybe you just love Asus. I don't know, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Three display port 2.1s, two display, uh, two HDMI, 2.1s, uh, four fans, 12 volt high power connector right there. And you do also have an OC in silent mode, pretty much like a little switch here. And yeah, let's talk about the numbers. I, I did write them down because I didn't want to forget them. So Astro 5090 has got a base clock of 2.5 gigahertz. So you are going to have a little bit of a higher base clock uh, than the Founders Edition, which I'll read right now. And then you got the boost clock at 2.6 gigahertz. You do have to have that OC on, so that way it can kick up the fans and everything like that. And then when we look at the 5090 uh, Founders Edition, this is a $2,000 card, it's $1,999. And partner cards, like I mentioned, have been a little bit more expensive than Founders Editions always because it's just the extra designs or they, they you know, they give you a little bit of a higher a boost clock and stuff like that. Uh, two fans on this one. It's got this really nice look. Founders Edition has always been really nice looking. They give you that gunmetal look. It's very futuristic, very modern. Uh, 12 volt high power connector. Now this 12 volt high power connector is gonna be different than your other partner cards because this one you can at least hook up a 90 degree cable to it. This one you're gonna have a little bit of a trouble with. Just because it's like slanted, it is sloped. It's still gonna look good but you won't be able to throw a 90 degree uh, cable from whichever custom cable company you're using. Just keep that in mind. Uh, two fans, like I mentioned. Now, as far as display ports and HDMI goes, you get three display ports and one HDMI. So also keep that in mind, but the design is really nice. I really gotta say this design is fantastic. Uh, two fans here in the front, and if you turn it right here, you can see the fin stacks right there. So it's really nice, really, nice looking card and as far as the specs go on the founders edition you get a boost clock of 2.4 gigahertz all right and a base clock of 2.1 or 2.01 gigahertz uh both of these cards are going to have 32 gigabytes of gddr7 and then a 512 bit 
um, bus type. So yeah, so as far as everything goes to pretty much numbers are, except for the boost clock and bass clock, everything is the same. And obviously the fans and HDMI, it's very important. So let's go ahead and pop this in. We're gonna go ahead and put the RTX 5090 Astro inside the PC. We're gonna see how the thermals, the benchmarks, we're gonna look at all that. And uh, we're also gonna check the ROPS and we're gonna make sure everything is good. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and pop that in. And then we'll, after that, we're gonna jump in and pop in the 5090 Founders Edition. It's gonna be fun. All right, everybody. So we're gonna switch this now to a vlog style video, just because, yeah, there was not that much light going in. So I thought this is gonna give me a better light. But yeah, so um, yeah, we got the 5090 ROG Astro set up inside, inside this little nice Evolve X2 PC that I have as a makeshift PC until I can get the water cooled PC going. But we have a 9950X3D, we have 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and then we got an X870 Tomahawk motherboard from MSI. So let's sit down here and get things started. By the way, this is the Asus PG27UCDM 4K 240Hz OLED monitor. Make sure you guys stay tuned because I got a little review coming on this monitor very soon. But the first thing what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go look at the ROPS because we wanna make sure NVIDIA's not jacking us because a lot of 5090s have been coming with less ROPS. And right over, where is it? Right there, ROP slash TMU is right at 176 slash 680, which hooray, we have the amount of ROPS that a 5090 should have. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Hardware Info 60, Four. Hardware Info 64 is a great sensor tool that allows us to monitor different components inside the PC. So we're going to be looking at thermals. So when we do some testing, we can always have a um, track record and see how the GPU does. Let me just go ahead and enlarge this. And there you go. We got the RTX 5090, as you guys can see right over there. Right now, we're sitting at a GPU temp of 43.5 degrees Celsius. So. Let's get the testing going. So we're gonna get 3D marks and we're gonna do Time Spy Extreme Benchmark for our first set of benchmarks on this ROG and get a baseline and write these numbers down so that way we could compare it with the 5090 Founders Edition. All right, we have Time Spy Extreme over here. We took off include demo, so we're gonna say no to that. And as far as custom run, we're not gonna do any kind of custom run with this. We're just gonna run it as default because we wanna get the true benchmark number. So let's just hit run and let the benchmarking begin. Benchmarking is so relaxing for such a stressful task on the GPU. I know you guys like that. Now it's doing the CPU test. And if you guys haven't noticed, the CPU test on 3D Marks always looks freaking choppy as hell compared to the rest of the test that it does. Okay, so we completed the first benchmarks for this ROG Astro. And as you guys can see, we got a Time Spy Extreme score of 22,000. 715 with a graphics score of 25,759 and obviously we're not going to really care that much about the cpu score but we'll read anyway 13,605 and if we move to hardware info we can see some of the stats that were recorded during the benchmark so we can see the highest that the gpu got in temperature was 66 degrees celsius and if you look at the max power that it received was 602 watts so the temps are really good so far with the rog astro we could see that you know it kept chilly you know especially for a card that was literally clocking where's the clock speed right there 2910 so 2.9 gigahertz it was clocking at 2.9 gigahertz with a temp like that 62.2 or 66.2 celsius so not bad those four fans on the GPU are definitely keeping it chilly. And it's also worth mentioning under MSI Afterburner, I did not overclock this GPU whatsoever. We didn't add any voltage. We didn't decrease any voltage. The only thing that's really set by default is the power limit. You guys can see, I think it's at 100 already when you pop this into your PC. So there's no kind of trickery with this Astro. We are running it on automatic fan curve. So yeah, it is what it is. So another popular game is Monster Hunter Wilds. I do have the full version of this game, but we're gonna run this benchmark uh, just to see how this Astro does when we compare it to the 5090 Founders Edition, when we pop that in. And we're gonna go into the options real quick and we're gonna look at the graphical settings. So you can see I have everything on the highest maximum level. So I mean, yeah, everything is pretty much on an ultra or high or the highest it can be. So this is going to be pushing the Astro to its limit. We got ray tracing on. We got everything that you can think about. We also got frame generation and DLSS on. So let's go ahead and start this. Benchmark it, baby. 
All right, so the benchmark process is going. You can see the stats of the PC right there, 3840 by 2160, ultra settings, CPU is 9950X3D, and the GPU is a 5090. Average FPS, we're sitting around 172, 173, and I gotta say, the game looks extremely beautiful. That score keeps going up. And pretty much we are done with the benchmark of Monster Hunter Wild. Our score was 28,347, which put us in the excellent ranking and the average FPS we got was 166.33. So not bad, not bad at all. Very playable at 166 FPS with everything turned up to the highest value, 4K, and the RTX 5090 Astro definitely performed really good in this game. So now we're running Black Ops a six why not right fps game we might as well see how the astro performs in this graphical settings everything is to its highest value 4k highest settings we're gonna run this benchmark now after this we're gonna test for coil one because there is some especially on this unit and then we're gonna pop in the founders edition and we're gonna run all the same tests and see does fifteen hundred dollar more get you more or are we gonna sit around the same area Let's start it. All right, so here we go. Benchmarking for the Black Ops 6 has finished. We got an average FPS of 203 FPS. So not bad, 203 FPS. Here's all the stats. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Now what we're gonna do is test out Coil Wine, see how bad this Coil Wine is on the Astral, and then pop in the 5090 Founders Edition. All right, so now we have the 5090 Founders Edition in there. And like I said, this is one of the most sickest looking cards. Look how minimal that RGB looks. With Astro, you had this like light bar cross. This one, it just gives you those hints of white LEDs, side and the top one, which kind of looks like a boomerang, but really nice card. I really like the way this looks. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the desktop. And we're gonna, first of all, do what we did earlier. We're gonna open up Power Up. GPU-Z and we're gonna check out the ROPS because we gotta make sure NVIDIA is not stealing any from us. And as you guys can see the ROPS right over there, we're at 176 slash 680. So that's what the ROPS are supposed to be on this Founders Edition 5090. So now we're back at MSI Afterburner just to show you guys that we're not gonna be overclocking, we're not gonna be overvolting, nothing like that. Now the power limit is set to 104. I don't know if you guys can see that. With the Astral, it was a max power limit of 100. So this Founders Edition lets us bump it up by 4%. We'll see if that does anything uh, for the card. So let's start Time Spy Extreme on this Founders Edition card. But before we do that, we can see we got Hardware Info 64 and we got all our GPU sensors right over there. Uh, GPU temperature under idle is 36.9. I remember with the Astro, we were at 42.2. So this is running a little bit cooler, but at the same time, the temperature in the room has gone down because the sun is going down. So that could be a reason, but so far it is cooler. And then with Time Spy Extreme, same rules. We're not gonna be running a custom run. We're not gonna include the demo. We're just gonna go ahead and run it for what it is and time spy extreme is running and the first thing i can notice is that i'm hearing a loud coil whine which i'll show you guys at the end of the testing but that's pretty louder than the astral but we are running time spy extreme let's see if the benchmark scores are going to be higher or the same as the 5090 astral all right so we did finish the first set of benchmarks for the 5090 founders edition and we got a time spy extreme score of 22,050 with a graphic score of 24,779 and if we move on over to the astral we can see that the Astro beat it by a good 650 points, 22,715, with a graphic score of 25,759. But what's really interesting is the temps were a lot hotter than the Astro, 75.5 degrees Celsius on the max temp, whereas the Astro was 66.2 degrees Celsius. So nine degrees cooler than the Founders Edition. Now let's run Monster Hunter Wilds and see how that does. Now we got Monster Hunter Wilds up and ready to go. And as you guys can see, I want to show you guys the settings. We got every setting as it was for the 5090 Astro. Everything is on its highest. So now with that being said, let's run the benchmarks. All right, guys, so we did finish up the benchmark for Monster Hunter Wilds. It did score a 27,285 for the Founders Edition. Average FPS was 160, which ranked us in excellent. And then on the Astro, if you guys remember, 28,347 was the score and the average FPS was 160. Six. So Astral did win it by six FPS more. Um, score is pretty close, but you guys would have to judge is 
it worth the $1,500 versus if you were to pay $2,000. If you do play Monster Hunter Wasp, both these cards performed excellent, but again, you'd have to be the judge of that. Is it worth your $1,500 more for the Astral to get six FPS more? That's up to you. All right, guys, so we are gonna be running the last benchmark test on the Founders Edition Black Ops 6. All the settings are the same, just have to show you guys. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and run the benchmark tool and see how this last benchmark performs against the 5090 Astral. All right, so we got the Black Ops 6 benchmark scores and uh, the Founders Edition scored 196 FPS while the Astro scored 203. So not much, really not much. If you're on the fence, this isn't something to be on the fence for. All right, so there it is, guys. We did a quick, dirty benchmark between these two uh, cards and it, really not a lot. To be honest with you and if you guys think there was a lot of differences let me know in the comment section down below if you guys thought it was big but i really didn't think it was big uh 35 especially when you look at the price tag 3600 versus two thousand dollars if you say fifteen hundred dollars on the same card wouldn't you let me know in the comment section but a quick recap because we got to do the recap time spy score the astral scored twenty two thousand seven fifteen. Now the temps under time spy extreme conditions were 66 degrees Celsius. I think that's where the fourth and third fan come in place. Uh, while the Founders Edition did score 22,050 with the Celsius at 75.5. So a little bit warmer than the Astral. And I think if you water cool, or if you're planning to water cool your Founders Edition, which blocks should be available already, I think Alpha Cool's got them. Um, but in EK is coming out with their own, but I think if you water cool it, you would get a higher score and the temps would be much lower, even beating the Astro and same goes with the Astro. If you water cool that too, you'll probably receive a better score. Uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, another one, which we didn't see much of an improvement. Uh, Astro received 166 FPS on average, while the Founders Edition did receive 160 FPS. So six frames difference again not much really in that one percent maybe less and then black ops 6 we did see the astro at 203 fps and black ops 6 on the founders edition was at 196 so again it, yeah it's not a whole lot it really isn't so if you're thinking about getting the founders edition if you can get your hands on the founders edition right now this is only sold from nvidia and best buy um then the founders edition saving yourself 1500 dollars could be it and then if you're going to water cool it, throwing a block on this, you're definitely going to get better temperature and you're going to get better FPS for sure. You're going to get a, a higher boost clock just because we know of uh, the thermal limits on these cards. If you want to get an Astral because you got a lot of money and you want the best of the best, the Astral is going to be it. Obviously, it's one of the best 5090 cards, if not the best 5090 card on the market. Again, same thing with this. Hopefully, they start getting available really soon. That way, a lot of people could enjoy these cards and it could just be something not of a myth. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, overall, this was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Subscribe for the two water cool builds that may be throwing these two cards in it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to see how temps and performance are when we do that but yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and uh now whenever you see a 5090 astral or 5090 founders edition when you do you'll have an easier time picking which one you want much appreciated hope you guys like the video throw a thumbs up if you did enjoy it let me know in the comment section what you think of it and also subscribe for more content coming your way and i'll catch you guys on the next one